Hi. So the most annoying part about these instructional videos is that you usually have to skip all the way to the end before you can actually see what you'll be making. So that's why I'm showing it off before the credits. This is a little tent-shaped nightlight, it's internet connected, it's perfect for a little girl's room and it keeps track of where you are in your book. Okay, so for this project we only need a few parts. The main one is this little Wemos D1 Mini, which is a little development board based on the ESP8266 platform, um, which makes this a lot like a little Arduino development board, but with a Wi-Fi chip built on top. Um, it also comes in under two dollars or two euros, so that's um, something that's well really easy and cheap to use in a little IoT project like this one. Um, the second part I ordered is this little NeoPixel ring. Um, it's not an official NeoPixel ring, uh, so it's, when you're going to look for this online, the thing you're going to want to type in is WS2812, which is the well, general standard that uh, also NeoPixel well, LEDs are based on. And what this does is that it has a bunch of RGB LEDs uh, on the front side and these little connecting pins on the back side, which makes it really easy to solder in with, well, something like a Wemos D1 Mini or a Raspberry Pi or whatever you plan on using for using this. Um, and the last part I, well, made myself uh, is this little tent shape thing. Um, why a tent shape? Well, because it fits in with the general theme that we're going for in the little kids room but also because it can nicely fit a reading book on top when we're done reading. Um, it also has this hole underneath, um, which should fit really nicely with the new pixel ring and the Wemos D1 Mini once we're done. Um, so that's, well, pretty much what we'll be using for this build. Let's get started. I started off by downloading the ESP Home Flasher, which is a little app to flash these ESP-based development boards. Then I downloaded the WLED library, which will be the software we'll be using to control the nightlight. I'll add the links to both in the description below. Once you have both, you can connect the Wemos D1 Mini to your PC with a USB cable and flash the firmware on the device. After that, you can heat up the soldering iron to attach the NeoPixel ring to your Wemos. Important to note is that you use the 5V ground and data in pins of both. In my case, I use the D4 pin on the Wemos just because they are close together. Once you're done soldering, you can attach power to the device and make sure it lights up. The next part is very optional of course, because you can use this in whatever shape you like. I started gluing the electronics inside the little tent I printed. But nothing should stop you from making a little lantern or whatever you prefer. Finally, you can plug it in again and use a Wi-Fi device to look for the signal the Wemos is broadcasting right now. You can connect to it with the passwords WLED1234 and if you're lucky, your device will show you the way to the web page to control the light. There you can go through all the various colors and effects, or go to the Wi-Fi options to connect it to your network. One important setting to pay attention to is the number of LEDs, which is in my case 16. And then you are pretty much done. You have a little smart light you can program or control from your smartphone. And hopefully some very happy kids as well. Good luck and see you next time.